the snow continues to come down at a pretty good clip. Many spots have already picked up anywhere between two and three inches. Those snowflakes were really coming down hard, and I was just thinking, hmm, this, this could really be an interesting game. And I remember getting caught in traffic, you know, two and a half hours before the game and having to call our security guy to have a police escort to come get me to the game. Good evening, everyone, at the Winter Wonderland in Foxborough Stadium. When we got the forecast, everybody was saying, oh, the weather was going to be too bad. The Raiders wouldn't be able to go out there and play a decent game. They were wishing for everything. They were wishing for us They were wishing for to be cold. It's one thing they didn't wish for. They didn't wish for the Raiders. As five inches of snow blanketed Foxborough Stadium, the Raiders dominated the Patriots and found themselves with a 13 to 3 lead with eight minutes to play. Snap to Brady. Looks, stands, starts to run with it. He is down to the five, and he's in! Touchdown! Tom Brady! And the Patriots are back in it. With under two minutes left, and Oakland leading 13 to 10, Raiders cornerback Eric Allen intercepted a valuable piece of information while he was lurking along the Patriots' sideline. So here's this young quarterback that comes over, and he's speaking with the officer coordinator. And he says, hey, we're going to go three by one, and we're going to throw the slant backside. And I dash to the huddle, and I set the play up, basically. I say, hey, they're going to go three by one, so linebacker, make sure you're in that first window. Time remaining, a minute and 50 seconds left to play. The direct snap to Brady. Standing in there. He runs a slant, and he's going to throw it in the first window. He sees the linebacker, and he pulls the ball back to pump it. I couldn't see exactly what happened to the ball and when the ball came out of Brady's hand. When Charles hit me on that play and, and I dropped the ball, I thought, oh man, this is this is not looking good. Look that comes. Here he is bearing down on Brady calls the football. Beacon dives on the ball. The Raiders have the ball. Based on what I saw and the information that I had, I ruled it as a fumble. If you ruled it incomplete, you could not correct that with replay. So that's basically just the way we were, we were trained. I thought it was over, and I started walking out there, and I thought that our season was coming to an end. The whole team was on to the next game. Oakland was going to run the clock out and win the game. So we had the ball set up and ready for Oakland to kneel down when my replay buzzer went off. The play is going to be reviewed, though, Greg. Oh, wow. You know, it's upstairs. Upstairs is going to review it whether it was a foul or not, I guess. So when I put my headset on, my replay guy said, uh, Walt, this is a big play. The shot he gave me was from the front, which gave me a clear look at exactly what happened on the play. And what it showed is Brady's arms coming forward, and Woodson hits him, and the ball falls out of his hand. And that's clearly an incomplete forward pass. It was easy. The quarterback's arm was going forward. It is an incomplete. All right. Patriots retain the ball. So you're telling me to leave the field even though it's our ball. Why? I need some sort of explanation. NFL Rule 3, Section 22, Article 2, Note 2. When a player is holding the ball to pass it forward, any intentional forward movement starts a forward pass. Even if the player loses possession of the ball as he is attempting to tuck it back towards his body. Oh, God, that's bogus. This just, just turned the whole game around. No, oh, they found a tuck rule. How about that? There was a lot of anger and uh, <laughs> Anger, more than anything, I guess. We got the call. Um, it was really a very fortunate call we got. And the Raiders fans still let me hear about that call. And the Raiders lead 13 to 10. From this point, they've got about another 15 yards to go to get to within reasonable range. 45 yards in the snow, down by three. No time left on the clock. Everything about that made it difficult. When his foot hit that ball, I saw a snow explosion, like off of the ground, just a poof of snow. Kick up on the way, and it is good! It is good! Adam Vinatieri kicks it through the snow, and we're tied at 13. 
I thought, man, now, you know, I made the, maybe the greatest kick of my career, and it's not over yet, you know? Now we got to keep going. In overtime, after converting a crucial fourth down, the Patriots again turned to Adam Vinatieri. Oakland's coach decides to ice the kicker, and that one incident, it maybe helped us out because it gave me a little bit more time to actually clear off the area where I was going to kick from. 23-yard field goal attempt. Snap, ball down. Kick is up. Bullshit. You know, that's uh, exactly how I feel. I feel it was a bullshit call. It never should have been overturned. It's not what Walt Coleman did. It's what the New England Patriots did after they had the opportunity to run more plays. It was the worst loss I'd ever experienced. But, uh, you know, I would just as soon not ever talk about it again. Never doubt money! You never doubt money! Yeah, it's just that much in football that's the margin of error sometimes and two good teams are playing it's one call it's one play it's one bounce a lot of us raider guys think that still when they line up and, and play and even today they uh have some of our magic it saved our playoff chances and you know what happened after that went on to be world champions